Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here, collectivekicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a real quick video and show you guys a display wall that my wife let me actually build in my um, kind of office area. So this is a different room than my sneaker room. And this is just kind of a, a look at the display wall. This is gonna be my backdrop for my videos uh, going forward. So I'm really excited to start filming in this room, but, uh, but pretty fun that uh, I was able to put this together. If you guys are wondering about the shelves, got them from Ikea. They're seven tiers, so it's like seven down, up and down. And they are about 50 bucks each, so kind of expensive, but it gave me a nice uh, solution for what I wanted. Pretty easy to put together. And uh, yeah, this is the end result. This is kind of the display that I put up for right now. So just give you guys kind of a visual. The top two rows are kind of all OGs, just shoes that like mean something to me. And so, you know, you got Kukinis and 120s, Citizens, Tailwinds, uh, Max Deluxe, and some uh, some gloves over here, Pippins. And then you have Barclays, Original Foams, Air Prevails, and Pippins. And then you have uh, the uh, pumps right here, the Robinson joints, and then two more pairs of the uh, Pippin joints, of uh, the Dynamic Flights. Then you have um, some shoes over here. These are the Kubos. And then next to those are the uh, Roshis from the Box Troll movie. Then you have the, the entire Dornbecker series. So I got all of them finally, ones, twos, threes, for the Jordans at least, fours, fives. Then I have a couple extras over here, uh, the uh, foams, and then another pair of Isaacs uh, DB5s. And then you have the sixes, eights, nines, tens, and thirteens. And then moving down here, we have some samples, black bottom samples, CDP samples, Tokyo samples, foam posit, obsidian foam samples, and then galaxies, and then a couple different pairs of IDs over here that I did, and then Max Lund's um, Stewie joints over there that he uh, made for me. And then the bottom one's a little bit high, high beast stuff down here, Yeezys and, and Supreme Dunks, and then the... Uh, um, Concords, and then I put down these ones here. I got to figure out what I was going to do. I was going to do all the Jordans, but I didn't end up doing that. And then just the ones and the threes, so kind of like the essentials down there. And then I had a couple other pairs down here that I was going to throw in the mix, but not quite sure how I'm going to rotate these uh, out, some of these out here and there, uh, because I know that's going to be kind of one of those things that I'm going to do. And a lot of people were questioning the dust factor, like how am I going to keep these not dusty? I'm not really worried about that. Um, I will probably rotate them fairly often, so I, I don't think it's going to be an issue. But just wanted to give you guys an updated video uh, and show you guys the new sneaker display wall. And it's going to probably look mostly like this in the backdrop, something close like this. But hopefully um, you guys like it. And if you guys do, uh, hit the thumbs up button, show you guys the support. And I will be um, looking forward to doing Top 5 Tuesdays from my new backdrop. And even some unboxing videos and stuff like that if you guys want to see. Um, I don't know. I'm not quite sure the full extent that I'm going to be using this, but I'm really excited that... I was able to actually get a uh, display uh, wall up. But thank you guys for the constant support and uh, appreciate you guys uh, checking out the videos. We'll catch you guys to some more videos soon. Peace, guys.